<laughs> it's here. It's here. It's finally, finally here. I've been waiting for one of these to show up since the first time I saw it. This thing is amazing. She tips the scales a little bit under 6,100 pounds, and this is going to be an instant classic. The 2516S Rockwood Mini Light. Finally here for the first time ever, a Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Brand new model, <laughs> it is great. And I mean, I am pumped. Ever since I saw the prototype of this one, I've been dying to get some full-fledged footage out here for you folks. Uh, that is some nice alliteration. I couldn't have done that if I tried. <laughs> but you'll see that this is basically the baby version of the 2608 Ultralight front kitchen with rear bed slide. All they really did was kind of phase the dinette out, because some people just don't care about dinettes, and they kept in all the important things. Good prep space, great storage, excellent travel access, and something I've never seen in a mini light before. A full 60 by 80 true queen slide that's cool here's another thing this one has that uh the mini lights have never had before double asdell walls the front rear side walls they are asdell laminated on the inside and outside sections of the wall that gives you amazing weight reduction it helps uh with long-term peace of mind longevity it does help a little bit with sun reflectivity keeping the rv a little bit more comfortable there's just an amazing laundry list of things that go into this we've got it decked out in what i'm going to call my uh rv nerd preferred package today solar 12 volt fridge inverter white skin partridge in a pear tree do the Mariah Carey. Hey. Nope, nope, we're not doing that. And when I saw that prototype, the first one of these, and I walked inside of it, I looked around real quick and I went, oh my gosh, if a 2506S Rockwood Mini Light front kitchen had a baby with a 2608 BS Ultralight front kitchen with rear bed slide, this would be the result. It's a missing link. It's a tweener. Rockwood found the missing link. <laughs> We're looking at it from the perspective of the theater seat, where I think you're going to spend a lot of time. And whether it's the windshield or even the full window in the door, you have great visibility out of this thing. Plus, i got windows beside me you'll see in a minute. Got the handy electric uh, Tootsie Toaster down here. I tell you what, you kick your feet up in this theater seat. That'd be a nice spot to keep your feet warmed up there. Um... Up top in that vaulted ceiling, you see double air conditioning ducting and uh, nine times out of 10, we are gonna have this in stock here at Halo RV with a larger 15,000 BTU air conditioner just to really make everything comfortable. Now we're looking at the, the lightest color combination available in this one. We've got the stone lighter colored fabric along with the Newport Ash uh, woodwork and flooring combo. The wood and the floor go hand in hand basically. And right there we're looking at the a 12 volt DC compressor fridge option. So it gives us the biggest refrigerator we can get in this model with the fastest cooling, travel friendliness, and it automatically includes a 190 watt roof solar package and 1000 watt inverter. So uh, not every outlet in the entire RV, but uh, when, you, when you review one of these in person, if you see there's a little sticker at the bottom, it says inverter circuit. Any outlet that has that uh, sticker on it is actually wired to the inverter. Now, I want to get all the storage opened up for you on this one, but I think to do that, I actually need to start back here, right next to the entertainment center, uh, right by the entry, is actually going to be uh, like the biggest chunk, like a dedicated pantry, which they, they found a way to put a dedicated pantry in a little space, this is great. Now, this is part of the reason I wanted to put this on video and move the camera around a little bit, because I don't know that a still photo really did this thing justice. That is a really good sized deep pantry. But those are removable shelves. So if you want to turn that into a closet space instead of just a pantry, you can. All pocket screwed cabinetry, hidden hinges, by the way. Um, and, and if you look at the cabinet doors, you see it actually is a raised panel hardwood insert. They just flip it around backwards to give you that very sleek and trendy residential like shaker style cabinet look right now. But they're still giving us the best materials in the best places that they possibly can. Dedicated pantry space over there. So even if you use the one by the door as a closet, you still have pantry space. A larger 22 inch oven, by the way. So even that's bigger and great prep space. I don't care if you're using the sink and the stove, you always maintain some really good prep area in this one. Now flip it back to that entertainment center here as a reference point. It is as easy viewing, I think, as a little camper's ever going to get. You have this, well, I mean, theater seat, love seat, what do you want to call it? Because it only does everything. And like I said, 
breeze windows all around that thing on, on there. So like when you're sitting in the theater seat, you can see like everywhere around you basically. Now you're looking at it and you don't, it doesn't really look like a theater seat, but that's because Rockwood I think does the very best theater seat of anybody. Because uh, <laughs> Rockwood's become like the hold my beer of RV manufacturers. They're like, you say it can't be done? Watch me. So I've got a wall hugging theater recliner over here. They can each recline independently. I can have a center console armrest if I want it for a theater function. And it even has household and USB outlets and cup holders. Or I could flip it up out of the way for love seat mode. <laughs> but just because they could, at this point, they're just showing off. They even <laughs> include like remote control, armrest, phone storage over here. If I was a kid, I'd, I'd definitely be pouring Legos into that thing though. <laughs> they just, oh, they do everything. Oh, by the way, before you ever open a refrigerator, you should always knock just in case there's a salad dressing. <clears throat> <laughs> it's so stupid. <gasps> I just realized what this is. It's a Diet Dr. Pepper camper. And you're going, what? You remember that old commercial where they're like, Diet Dr. Pepper tastes more like Dr. Pepper than regular Dr. Pepper? That's what this is. It's a Di Diet Dr. Pepper camper. It's got like all the bigger Rockwood features that matter, but in a Diet Dr. Pepper... You, you know what I'm saying, right? Am I... Am I is this me? Am I crazy? <laughs> <coughs> so, yeah. Salad dressing aside. <laughs> This thing has also not just a great living room, not just a great kitchen, but a fantastic bathroom. I don't know how they made everything in the camper look and feel so big. Like every room looks and feels big, even though the camper is not big. I Because it's like somehow everything overlaps in just perfect harmony. Like behind half of the TV is a pantry for the kitchen. Behind half of the TV is this big radius shower in the bathroom. And I'll tell you what. Because of its placement in that skylight, I had some pretty decent headroom in here. And I love the symmetry, the symmetrical look here in the bathroom with those little handy, like, you know, pill bottle cubbies on either side. Great counter space, big sink. Just, it just does, it just does everything. Like even wastebasket storage, just everything they could. That big, big fifth wheels often forget to do stuff like that. They crushed it in this little half ton towable trailer, you know? Another inverted outlet. <laughs> by the way, as if, you know, we needed more reasons to love it. Porcelain foot flush stool with just all of the leg room, man. All of the leg room. All of it. They took it all. <laughs> and a, a big linen space. Well, I don't care. You got toiletry, shower stuff. I don't, again, I don't understand how they got so much into such a small space. And an XL vent fan that Rockwood always does complete with roof vent cover sliding big like almost barn style wide open door gets you back here into the bedroom which also helps this look and feel big although admittedly this this is a a, a true queen bed slide 60 by 80 true queen bed and it's in a full deep slide look at this even a little mini shelf up there if you want to set your phone next to it power outlets usb outlets both sides uh of the bed just just killing it Oh my lord, even above the bed. I'm sorry, I keep seeing new shiny things because every time I look at this camper, I see something else. I'm like, this is amazing. This is like one of the best. This is potentially one of the very best RVs I think I've ever seen pound for pound. This thing rocks. Uh, but you've got the blue-white reading lights. They have their own USB plugs in them. Again, great phone charger space. Or you could, you know what? You don't even have to dangle the cords down. You could put the, your, your phones like up in that. This thing rocks. Everything they did. This is about as close to a perfect RV as I think I've ever seen. Fight me. <laughs> this, this thing, this is awesome. And taking a play out of Big Brother Rockwood uh, Ultralight and Signature, you've got that uh, dead bolting secure direct entry door there with this big closet and dresser space below it. So again, every room somehow has big storage. You have this big hanging storage space. If you want to be... Like, I could see some people who are looking to do some full-time traveling. They want a nice bedroom, a big bed slide, stuff like that. <sighs> this thing rocks the suspension that's on these the the short length the lightweight the towability but all the space and the function tv hookup across the bed this this thing's oh i oh we got storage under the bed yet jeez i almost i almost forgot i mean even this once again anything rockwood builds aluminum cage work um the the full dresser drawers down here i mean you you could lift the bed if you want to get to the outside area storage but you don't have to and this is another really cool thing rockwood does they've been doing this for a long long time 
You see how there's a little bit of wood stuffed inside that aluminum uh, tube right there? They do that anywhere they have to screw into their uh, aluminum beam work so that, uh, you know, a guy with an overpressurized, like, air gun screwing stuff down at the factory doesn't accidentally crimp and crush their tube work. Like, they're doing things that you guys don't even see so that you never have to worry about it. That's just Rockwood doing Rockwood things. Gosh, this is good. And before we step outside that door, I want to give you a quick look here with the slide clothes because this one uh, actually has some pretty decent travel functionality. You will lose a little bit of the storage. Like, there's going to be a couple of things that become a little trickier to get to. What I do love, though, is that that refrigerator is always going to be readily accessible. Where you do have to kind of think outside the box a little bit, though, is that when the slide is closed, you're not able to get back there to the bathroom. But the thing is, you don't have to get to it from this way. Rackwood gave you another way around. So if you step out of door number one, you take a peek over here at door number two, we come in back through the master bedroom. And here, we see that we can easily get through everything. Although, you do lose a few inches on the bed right there, so if you do want to make an overnight sleep stop, kind of keep that in mind. But, because of that sliding door right here, since the doors don't have to swing open to end, uh, anything, you can easily get in here and get to the bathroom if need be. So, I'm not saying that it's like super travel functional. I'm saying that if you need to make an overnight stop or something like that, you could. You could grab yourself a bite to eat up front, then come back here, use the bathroom, go to sleep, whatever you got to do. And if you appreciate the way that we take the extra time to close everything up and show you around, hit the subscribe button, follow along with us here at Halid RV, because it does take a little more time and effort to put all this together. Man, oh man, does that look good. Just such, the new nose cap, the optional white skin package with a little kind of gray graphite uh, accents. Good gravy, that looks fantastic. Uh, there is, by the way, a one-inch laminated double Asdell wall behind that nose cap. That's, that's something that Rockwood does that very few nose cap builders do. It's just case book example, case book, textbook, case by case. I don't know. I don't even know what I was going to say, but it, it's a good example of Rockwood doing Rockwood things. I think that's the biggest thing that I'm looking at here. We're also looking at the uh, optional slide awning package that you can apply to this one right here. I think that that just, with the bed slide stuff, it just feels right, doesn't it? Doesn't this thing just feel right to you? Up front here, uh, a kind of standout feature, easily overlooked, are the dual 30 pound propane tanks instead of 20s. 50% more propane capacity on this. There's handy little things too, <laughs> even though they're not being used right now, like the little plug buddy and the little chain hooks right here. Looks like the delivery driver just lumped the chains over the, the side there, like, you know, commonly happens. Power jacks are an available option on something like this. The underbelly will always be enclosed, by the way. Uh, but the 12 volt tank heaters, previously optional, are now standard on all mini lights, ultra lights, signatures. Previously, that was like a signature only thing uh, for, for standardization anyway. And just Rockwood always doing a touch more. Add storage to the face of the slide like this. Because that's a big, deep slide and the refrigerator's there. And they said, hey, wait a minute. There's an empty pocket of space back here. We are going to open that right up. It actually goes way up there. Almost like you're getting a, uh, a lower GI scope. <laughs> the rotor router storage space i guess you could call it but you know what would you like fishing poles golf clubs what would you guys put in there now here's another really neat thing between these two slides that's where all of our uh like water hookups and stuff like well pretty much all the hookups actually are all located right here but something i noticed is not just the hookups but that outside shower right here in between these two very close to one another slides so if you grab something like a uh uh, one of those twist uh, tension shower rods, you could create a true outside shower space here. Of course, you could always just use it for cleaning fish or, you know, campsite cleanups next to the dump station, which is just behind those tires, by the way. Now, uh, there, this is the biggest chunk of outside storage. It actually goes under the bed space here. That's another thing that this kind of shares in common with the bigger Rockwood Ultralight and Signatures. You saw that all aluminum skeleton down there. Anything Rockwood builds in-house, whether it's a bed frame, a dinette frame, or the entire RV skeleton, it's an all-welded uh, aluminum cage. It just, they, they're always above and beyond with this stuff. The weather, a little... Not, not good, so I don't want to be climbing around an icy, slidey, uh, break my neck kind of roof right now, which bums me out because I want you to get to see the Max Air vent covers that come standard on your, uh, you know, your, your big like bathroom vent fans. I want you to get to see that 190 watt solar panel in better detail. 
unfortunately, you're just going to have to hear me talk about it. Kind of like this 300 pound rated accessory hitch on the back here, standard from the factory. Things like a nice hard shell tire cover, keeping that spare Goodyear Endurance radial protected from the weather. That's another thing! Holy crap! Goodyear Endurance radials, 87 mile an hour rated. Best in class tires, best in class load range and speed. And then Rockwood goes, eh, one more thing. We are going to give this a factory standard TPMS. This includes its own tire pressure monitoring system. What I like about it is that it has its own handheld monitor. So you're not uh, like, you know, you don't have another app on your phone chirping at you the entire time. <laughs> it's just nice. Our phones, I feel like they're getting overloaded, you know. And I love the location of this because this is, uh, it's all under the awning. The outside entertainment, the TV hookups, that griddle station, that little, you know, platter work table, it's all completely contained under a max length awning, but it's all the way at the edge of the awning. So, you know, you're not like in the middle of the camper smoking everybody out, heating everybody out in the summertime if you're cooking. You're over here where it's accessible. Even on a rainy day, you can just pop in and out the door real quick, you know. Everything about this, everything about this one, it's just it's so good these are anti-slam doors big entry handles on both of them notice these are the zero g stable steps by the way these are i call them scrubbing bubble stable steps because they will hold themselves up in the air so you don't have to they have easy adjust foot pegs and they do it on both doors notice how they didn't give one door better treatment than the other the way the rv industry almost always does everything is all the way every time also simple side mount solar prep plug should you choose to employ the services of a portable solar panel. Whew. That was a lot of features for three minutes and 40 seconds. What do you think? So what do you think, guys? Is this thing just an instant classic or am I all worked up for no reason? I believe this is a winner. I don't. Sus I think the biggest problem with this one is that you're, you're not going to be able to find one in stock most of the year. It's going to be so popular that these uh, initial wave of arrivals, especially with all the production demands out there, they're just going to get picked off in a heartbeat. I'm glad that we got one for you today. We have a lot more coming if we happen to be sold out. We'll get one ordered for you. We got one coming. Whatever the case may be, we'll get you camping. And as always, remember, we don't do hidden fees at Haylet RV. Um, if there's uh, anything you don't like about this one, or if there is something you like, leave us a comment and let us know, because it is okay to share positive things, too. <laughs> um, and if there's something else I haven't covered, if there's something I've missed, or sometimes I got <laughs> blood my words up, you let me know, and I'll do my best to straighten, well, myself out. <laughs> so take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo camping, everyone.